Thanks for joining us for more Your Kentucky in a Home. I'm with Kyle with Primary Residential Mortgage and the LPK Group. And Kyle, we're going to talk about some of the common misconceptions that people have when buying a home. And one of them is that they can't afford it. Yes, ma'am. A lot of people have the fear that, that they can't afford a down payment. Um, and I would address this issue by stating that we at the LPK Group have the ability to do loans through the Kentucky Housing Corporation. And through this, you can do down payment assistant loans of up to $6,000 for those who qualify. There are also studies that show it is cheaper to own a home than it is to rent a home. The reason being, at the end of the year, you can write off your taxes uh, and your interest when you do your tax returns. And a lot of people think that they can't afford it, um, and really most of the time they're paying more in rent than they would be paying on the home. Uh, I would address this by stating there are fees, um, such as your taxes and your insurance that go into play when you own the home. Um, however, as I stated previously, you're able to write these off at the end of the year when you do your tax returns. So it really evens out, and in the long run, you come out ahead as an owner as opposed to renting. And a lot of people are afraid that they're going to be turned down for the low. Yes, we see that frequently, actually. A majority of the people we talk to believe their credit may be too low, uh, that they have too much debt, or they don't make enough money. But we at the LPK Group view it, and we don't turn anybody down. We don't deny anybody a loan. Instead, what we do is we give them a game plan. And the game plan may be three months down the road, six months down the road, or even a year. And we're able to do this through our credit simulators that we have in our software. Uh, and a credit simulator will give us specifically the debt to pay down to an exact amount, and it'll give us precisely the effect it'll have on the credit score. It's so nice that you offer that because everything is fixable. Yes. Even bankruptcy is fixable. Yes, ma'am. It takes time to do it, but you can always fix it. Yes, and one thing we see frequently is that they have all these fears coming in, uh, but instead of being denied, we, instead of them being denied, we give them the game plan. And when they leave our offices, they have that sense of hope and that sense of joy, knowing that we may not be able to afford now, uh, but in a few months we're able to afford. And it's something to look forward to. Yes, ma'am, very much so. And they can go out and look at houses like the one that we're in if it's in their budget. And then, you know, a lot of people, they start off looking for houses first and they find this houses they absolutely love. And then they go see you and they find out that they can't afford it. Yes, it is kind of a backwards concept when you do it that way. Uh, it is very important to meet with the loan officer. The reason being, you find out specifically what you can and can't afford. Um, and, and we don't go as far as your limit. We go as what you're comfortable paying. And we base it off that as far as what a, a value you should be looking at in a home so that you're comfortable making that monthly payment because we don't want you in over your head and neither do you. You know, it's really nice to sit down and make that monthly budget with them. Because, you know, one of the first things that I found when I purchased a home is they don't talk to you about how much more electricity will be versus an apartment. Um, when you're in an apartment, lots of times they pay the gas for you. They pay the water for you. They pay um, the, the trash pickup. So these are extra bills that if you don't have a great loan officer like yourself that you're not expecting. Yes, we go ahead and we make sure they know exactly what they're getting themselves into and people can view those expenses um, in a negative way. But honestly, you get that sense of privacy when you own the home and you have that satisfaction of knowing you have the same rate each year for the next 30 years when you do a fixed rate, as opposed to when the moment your lease is up at the end of the year, you could get an increase in your rent. Uh, it may cause you to move when you're not expecting to. All right. Thank you so much, Kyle. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Kimberly. We'll be back with one of the agents of the Thomas Group, Milton Ali, in just a moment. We are back with Milton Ali with the Keller Williams Group East. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Milton, we're going to talk about this amazing home that's a bungalow that was built in 1938 in the Highlands neighborhood, which is a very popular spot to be in. Yes, this is an incredible home. It is three bed, two bathrooms with an incredible dining area with a diverse tile backsplash in the kitchen. Also, there is a rare, very rare two car detached garage in the beautiful Highlands neighborhood. It is adjacent to shopping and a lot of different activities in the area. This is a very lively area, very diverse area, and it is this is a very rare find. You know, I love the Highlands area because you can walk everywhere. I've always wanted to have a house here. Yes, and it, what's so amazing is that it's so close to coffee shops and close to shopping and to other amenities that a family would love here or not. And so it's just an incredible, 
is an incredible area. And with a three bedroom home, this this is a three bedroom home, so it would be great for a family. It would be great for a, a young couple that wants to grow their, their home into a family as well. Yes, and what we love about it is that there is a rare two car garage. Most properties in this area have no garage <laughs> and off the street parking. What you will find is a detached two car garage that's accessible from the alley. So you can pull in through your garage and go in through your back door. You don't have to go through your front door and park off the street like most of the other residents. And an updated kitchen, which is a yes. rarity as well in a house it, like this. It is completely gorgeous. This home, I will tell you, will not be on the market for long. And what's it priced at? $275,000. Wow, it will not be on the market long. You are right about that. If you're interested in purchasing this home, use the contact information on your screen.